Hi guys, Richard Retro here, back with another car boots pickups, slim pickings. So this is just gonna literally be like a two and a half minute video. So yeah, I went car booting it, um, went up Dexter again. Um, yeah, so I got a really evil, obese Pikachu. Um, my trader had these on his stand and they were, I think they were four quid each and I was able to, um, I think he walked away somewhere and there were some little kids there and I said, oh, will you take two for a fiver? They were like, yep. So I got the Mortal Kombat, Midway, Plug and Play, and Super Pac-Man. I've never seen Super Pac-Man before. I got all the others, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, but not Super Pac-Man. I also got a board game, Lord of the Rings. Um, I picked up sort of like the same kind of game probably about a couple of weeks ago. And I guess it's I guess like a bit like video games, sometimes I get like a reprint. And so this is sort of like the green one. And the original was that one. So I think they're exact same. Sometimes they update the rules, but I think they're just a reprint. Um, just on a little trader standard game was um, just a couple of PS1 games, Assault Rigs. Um, this is just the, I guess it's just a rental copy. No, no, yeah, rental only. I love rental copies, so anything that says rental copy. And I got these two both for 50p because it, this one just had the inlay for Sparrow Year of the Dragon. Which I actually needed. <laughs> I needed the back inlay. So I was happy with them. And then there was a couple, just a couple little figures. These jobbies. And Sonic and Knuckles. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> I went all that way with a fucking car boot, um, and it was just absolutely shit. <laughs> but that's that's life, isn't it? That's just life. So what's coming up? Well, yeah, I could talk about what's coming up next. Yeah, Play Expo. I've got over my man flu. I've still got loads of people's videos to watch, so if I haven't watched any of your views or comment yet, I will get round to watching. I've got a little watch later, like, kind of list. Um, it's just getting time, really, because I was away. I'm catching up with all my TV, um, selling some stuff. Because I've spent probably about yeah hundred pound too much to play Expo, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm getting getting uh, to sell some stuff and um, getting a hundred pound back. And also, I'm going to a board game event event at the end of the month as well. In yeah, end of May. So I've just got loads of board games I want to sell. I've got a list of board games I want to buy. So hopefully, yeah. So I needed some money for buying, <laughs> but then I don't know how much of my board games I'm going to sell. So I need sort of the cash first, and then buy what I want, and then. Yeah, sell through the stuff I don't want, so, so that should be good. So that's it, yeah, that's it. Uh, near the NEC, the Houghton Hotel, 30th and 31st of May. So yeah, so if you, any of you guys are going, just hit me up and we'll have a few beers. It's also the FA Cup final on Saturday as well, so I'll definitely be watching that. Hopefully they'll be playing it somewhere, showing it in the, in the convention. Um, and then I'm going to, which one's first? I think it's London Anime Gaming Con. And that's at the beginning of July, so I'll be attending that. That's around. I forgot, I forgot where that is now. To be honest, I forgot where that is. But yeah, that's somewhere. That's in London. Oh, I know it's in London. I need to book the train ticket for that. So also need you know another hundred quid for the train ticket. So I'll be definitely going with that. Um, supporting um retrograde gamer, Katsu from Retro Collect. He'll be he'll be running some competitions and that. So I'll be there supporting him. And I, I love my anime and game gaming events, as you know. So yeah, so it's, so it's two birds and one stone. Then at the end of the month, um, which I did actually realise, I've already booked the hotel for. Um, it's actually um, London and TV and Film Comic Con. So I'm going to that as well. <laughs> I need to book a train to that. Yeah, I got a cheap hotel, which was just around the corner from the event. Um, I booked it probably end of November. I completely forgot about it when I checked my hotels to see what I've done for the year. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm just waiting for the Play Expo in Manchester, if there is one, um, announcement. Um, I won't be going to Margate because there's too many events at the moment. So Margate's pretty far, you know. Just, just uh, It's probably just as quick for me to get to Blackpool as for me to get to Margate, you know. It's just as, just as far, really. So I'm going to do really one sort of like really long trip probably once a year. Manchester's okay. Um, it's not too far, but Blackpool, oh man, on the way home. I was like, oh, trying not to fall asleep and die at the wheel. <laughs> but like I had some music blaring up. But yeah, so if you go to any of those events, you know, the, yeah, the the um, board game event, um, UK Games Expo, um, yeah, end of May, and then there's the London Annie Gaming Con, 
and then there's London and TV Film Comic Con. So yeah, I'm looking forward to. I love my events. Love my events. Um, car boot wise, um, I do have the next two Sundays off, but I might try and stay and save money. So, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to be here literally waking up at five in the morning, getting the car boot bug. So I'm hopefully, hopefully it's raining, so I sort of save money. But if it's not, I'll obviously go to the car boot. Because <laughs> there's a car boot hoarder. <laughs> okay, guys, cheers. Thanks for watching.